Do you have my seals yet? Of course I do. It was easy. How could I have doubted your greatness? Nonetheless, I appreciate the work you've done. Would you be interested in another job? I'm interested. I'm impressed with your work. Did you expect any less? I had hoped, but hiring you was a gamble. Most things in life are. I am perhaps a bit more willing to gamble than my fellow generals would like. If you take no risks, you win no wars. Exactly. How is it a mercenary understands this when the greatest generals of Athens don't? I'm not sure whether I should feel flattered or insulted. The Spartans are trying to find our supply lines. We've caught several spies already. We cannot afford such a loss. Not if you want to keep your troops alive, no. I need you to kill more of their commanders. Leave their hoplites without leadership. They'll be scrambling. Are you sure? Spartans are fierce warriors. Warriors, yes. Thinkers, no. They react like wild animals. Put them in a situation that requires genuine thought, and they fall apart. Kill the commanders and bring me their seals. We'll see how the other generals react to that. I'll get you your seals. The sooner the better. I know what I have to do. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Ah! 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 
Ταιά και τρομερή Αθηνά. Μεγαλώνει την καινή. Αλέξιος! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's the small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally? You should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. Talking in circles may work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I don't speak in circles, or any other shit. <laughs> Let's hope no one notices me here. He's right there! <laughs> Name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanes' name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizen's list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sophanes were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you.
That's the guy Alcibiades called handsome? Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him anymore. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about debts. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alcibiades said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alcibiades. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanes. Sophanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sophanes betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. You're going to help, but it's your choice how bloody you are when you do. Or maybe I'll go to Theon and see if he'll pay me to get what you owe him. You can't threaten me and expect to get what you want. You'll regret that. That's enough! I'll do what you want! Even after all Sofan is dead, he gets another chance. Best stay out of sight. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Socrates, too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sophanes deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did matter to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sophanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? A person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder, then, if bad actions can reverse good, or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight.
that impression the laptops. I wonder how many scraps Hermippus... Hermippus has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done similar things to Hermippus? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermippus should say what he wants? They're only words. Hermippus should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says? What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. Uh, an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermippus, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermippus. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Wherever Hermippus is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start.
wisdom. Doesn't look like army poses here. I should take a look around. Pots, pots, and more pots. on my head is go up. I should be extra careful in this area.
Looks like Cleon made notes for army boss on his play. Everyone's a writer. A mask from the Court of Cosmos. Army boss must be a member. This is a lot of money for someone like Ermipos. Explains his residence, at least. Ah! <laughs> 
They'll be on high alert here. Ascolia del Tistis, Ebre. I couldn't find Armipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Ermipos and the Cult, I'd imagine. Ermipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah, yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. <laughs> <laughs> 